Yeah, right? Yes. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. module for that there of course there is i just hope i don't look too tired <laughs> here 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 oh, nap time oh, at nap aquia time. <laughs> <laughs> hey we are at aquia's brand spanking new headquarters it's been barely any time this is only my third day here um ever and we're in downtown boston and it's kind of exciting <laughs> I am with a current and future colleague, right? Why don't you introduce yourself and tell us something about you? Something? Yeah, any, whatever you like. Maybe something non drupal Okay, my name is Allie. Um, my last name is, is pronounced differently depending on where you are in the world. <laughs> in America, it's, it's Gonthier. <laughs> in France, it's Gontier, which is way better. Way better. Okay, <laughs> so I'm with Ali Gontier. What's your job at Acquia right now? I'm a senior customer support coordinator, which is sort of complicated-ish, but not really. And interestingly, you're about to be a UB, so you're mm -hmm. changing from this job and going into Acquia's Drupal training program. Yes. Um, why are you doing that? Um... So I'm in support right now, and uh, it's sort of a very entry level position. Um, there's a lot, of, lot to do, a lot of tasks to be done. But um, to get me to the next level, I need to learn a lot more about Drupal and as intensely as I can. So, <laughs> and, so and you're excited about Drupal, and you want, you yes. want, you want, you're all about the Drupal now. So I'm here. Okay. <laughs> so this sounds kind of. Silly in context, but how did you hear about the Acquia U program? Um, I literally met Amy, who's running the program at a uh, Drupal camp, like last September, and I, I bumped into her. We worked together, but I didn't even know she was. And I we I introduced she introduced herself to me, and I just I was like fly paper, and I didn't leave her alone. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. And um. Um. Had you heard of Drupal before you came to Acquia? Yes, yes. So I have been in um, a supportian for a while now. You know, I had other jobs in life, but when I went to sort of a technical land, I found support really fit my personality well because not only um, do I enjoy learning and doing technical things, but I also really like, you know, really empathetic for customers and I really want to help people and help them understand and you know I not love necessarily a people person but you know like I care if that makes sense no it does you know? and I think support is such is actually such a great fit for people steeped in the open source mentality mm -hmm. um, because you know you you really do help people um, mm -hmm. succeed and it's it's all about transparency and, and sharing right and then I've also been told by other people in, in from Acquia support that uh, the difference between working in a support role and working in, you know, some company building like a help website. Desk, right. Right. Well, you get to look at a different code base yeah, every day. You're absolutely. not just like working on the one thing. For it's every day is different. Every every customer is different. It's a different challenge every day. It's 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 great for somebody who, you know, doesn't want to do the same thing all day every day. So. It's, What's your first Drupal memory? Uh, my first Drupal memory. Interesting. Um, well, honestly, I mean, I learned about Acquia, obviously, because of Drupal, but I was just looking into web design maybe five, six years ago, and I just was comparing all the big, you know, CMSs or whatever was available at the time, and I was like, what is the best? <laughs> and what is the hardest? And, okay, Drupal it is. <laughs> and then I just started, I literally bought a book. <laughs> and I went front to back. <laughs> and what made you stick with it then? Um, I honestly I learned about 
I figured I, I saw Acquia and they had some really neat tools that we still have this time. Like we had Dev Desktop, which just made it really easy to like spin up a site and play with it. And then we had um, uh, uh, Drupal Gardens as well, which you could just customize and then like export that and then throw it wherever. So I did that for a couple of friends, like websites. Um, and then I was like, where are these people located? <laughs> I saw that they were hiring, so I just looked at the hiring page and applied to every job I could. <laughs> and are you from the Boston area? Yeah. Oh, well, that helped too, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So how did you feel when you were accepted into the new AquaU class? Uh, I'm ecstatic. I could not be more excited. <laughs> awesome. And, and, and what are your expectations going in? I'm a little anxious, you know. Um, I'm not super confident myself. I don't know. It's just something I have to work on. So, I mean, I'm, I'm going to just dive in and learn as much as I can. High five and to that. And absorb it all. <laughs> so, is it okay if we check in again over the course of the program and see how you're sure, doing? Sure, absolutely. All right. I will see you sometime soon. Okay. And good luck on Aquia U. All right, thanks. Thanks for talking to me. All right, great. Do I get up now? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Ali Gonthier. Hmm. It is now early ish 2016. How are you? I'm well. <laughs> Last time we were talking was the middle of 2015, right? And you were just going into Aquia U. Right. To recap, you've been at Aquia a while. Yes. And until you did Aquia U, your job title was? I was a customer support coordinator. And what, what was your sort of Drupal level, Drupal experience to be in that job? Uh, zero, basically. <laughs> I, didn't need, <laughs> I didn't need any Drupal experience for that position. Support coordinator. Yeah. And then you had the chance to do the Acquia U um, Drupal boot camp, tech yes. boot camp thing. Yes. How was that? Um, that was uh, eye-opening. It was crazy. It was fun. It was overwhelming. Every single emotion that I could ever, I was pushed um, to, to my limit and beyond. <laughs> in, in I, I cried more than once. I laughed more than once. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it sounds funny that you say that, but um, I've talked with a bunch of people who it was a really powerful experience for a lot of people who've yeah. gone through the program. Yeah, I did, I did things that I would have never normally have done, and it gave me the, the Drupal picture, which I did not have before. Um, and it empowered me and with my confidence. I just, I just I knew what I wanted. I was just, it was, it was a great experience. So I want to roll it back for a second. How did you end up at Acquia in the first place? I um, had always been in tech support for quite a while, different roles, different companies. And um, I was sort of getting interested in web design, web development. And I was like, well, what's the best? <laughs> and so I, I was drawn to Drupal and I just literally downloaded Acquia Dev Desktop. And um, I was like, I wonder where these these guys live and then I was like oh that's 20 minutes away <laughs> so I applied to three different positions <laughs> I interviewed for all of them and then they hired me <laughs> cool okay so what was your thought process in in going into Acquia U what were you hoping for I was um I was I wasn't sure I just wanted ultimately I wanted to grow um and I wanted to try something different and um you know Sad to say, but I wanted to make more money in the long run. So there is, <laughs> there is nothing sad about that, and and frankly, that's a yeah. completely that's a completely legitimate goal. Yeah, no. I, what yeah. are some of the what are some of the skills, some of the things that you you learned in the in during the course? Um, we built a bunch of different Drupal sites, and you know, like I mentioned, it gave me the the, it helped me, to to for the big picture anyway, like, um, now. I feel like I might not be a Drupal expert, but I can join in the conversation and I can understand what my peers are talking about. Um, you know, and that's like sort of the the big part of it. I might not, 
you know, might not be an expert, but I know where the experts are and now I can have conversations with them and grab that feedback and learn from it. So <laughs> knowing, even knowing how to figure out what the right question yeah. is and how to answer the question opens the door to enormous um, career, uh, well, and uh, enormous possibilities, whether those are in career or whether doing something for yourself or your community with technology, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what's your title now? Did you get a new job coming out of uh, Acquia U? I did. I am a, a support engineer now. So, yeah. <laughs> so you, you do actual Drupal on the job. Yep, I do. Yeah, exactly. That's right. And um, saying, you know, just like you described, I, I take questions I might not really answer, but I can find the answer and I have resources to help me with that. And I've learned so much and every day just flies by. And of course, I've always loved the people I work with here. So I just I wouldn't want to go anywhere else, really. <laughs> what, one of the things that I've always really admired about uh, the approach that our global support team takes is that we're not about, uh, you have a problem with your website, you tell us what it is, we'll fix it, and then we'll tell you it's it's fixed, and then go away. Uh, I've seen a lot of people share. They say, hey, so this got misconfigured, there was a problem on the server, the file system is corrupt in this way, and these are the things that we did. And um, whether or subtle or not, we're giving people the tools to help themselves or maybe not create the same problem for the second time. I imagine that you've got a situation where you now know enough about Drupal. You see all these different everyday problems um, that people are having and every one of those is a chance for you to learn as well, mm -hmm. right? Exactly, exactly, definitely, yeah. So, so you become more of an expert every day, more ready for, readier for new challenges, for new possibilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. That describes it. It's fun. I like it. <laughs> so you're a you're problem solving sort of uh, person. I am. I'm a. I'm a. I you know I can't do the same thing every day type of person. If that makes sense. <laughs> oh yeah. So I remember talking with someone about their job in support, saying that the best thing about working in support compared to working on a client project or an in house project was actually. I don't have to touch the same code base every no. day. I get a, a completely different work day every day. Every single day is something different. Um, different touch, you might touch something and not touch it again for three months. Like if you, for me personally, if, um, it helps because I get I get bored honestly, and 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 that kind of atmosphere, it's it's really difficult to be bored, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> that's really cool. So d do you? Um, let me think how to ask this. Do you have um do you have new and different career ambitions now? Um no. I don't I think I'm in a different point now where I'm just trying to to do well at what I'm doing right now. And then, you know, I've always thought of that like what's next, what's next, what's next. And right now I'm just sort of focusing on now and um I, you know, I'll reevaluate that eventually, but for the time being, I'm just, I'm pretty happy where I am right now, so. Cool, and 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 that Aqua U was part of putting you in this space where now you're pretty happy to sit and learn and do this stuff. Yeah, 100%, yeah, definitely. Cool, well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we should probably make a, a pitch for Aqua support being a really fun place to work. Mm, uh, yeah, it is a lot of fun. <laughs> Ali is a lot of fun to work with. I, <laughs> I know that. So, cool. So, Acquia U, worth doing? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was challenging. It was great. It was a good experience. It got me to where I wanted to be. So, very happy for that. Excellent. Hey, so thanks to, for taking the time to come back and talk with me again. No um, and, you know, you people uh, watching this out on the internet have seen before Ali, and this is after Ali. I, I'm sure I look the same, I hope. <laughs> Well, you look, you look enriched with people knowledge now. I, yeah, I have the tattoo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, you didn't. Yeah, you have to get that once you've taken the course. I know the secret handshake. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's true. It's real. Thanks, Allie. Thanks, Jim.